you doing people um it's raining outside so i'm doing this little review from indoors within my snug where it's nice and warm and at the minute it's quiet because the wife's at work the dog's asleep and my two youngsters are at university so it's a quick video on the maven filter system long story short i've changed my filter system because i found the old system i was using was quite big i didn't use my graduated filters much and i basically mainly only use nd filters yeah pretty much that's why i've gone to this system uh, i've had me on this system for a long time been using it a few weeks now love it but this is pretty much just a what's in the box i went for the 82 mil and what that means if you order the 82 mil is you get a adapter ring which screws onto the front of your camera that stays on there put them on like that look that stays on there and then your filters just clip on off on off that's it that's as simple as no sliding messing around any filter on any filter off easy peasy now my lens is 77 mil which i use most of the time but what i did get was a 77 to 82 mil adapter and the reason i did that don't know if you should do it or not but i thought putting it on there the bit that holds the filter is wider so i'm hoping i'll get less vignetting i don't know if i got the 77 mil adapter which screwed on there whether i would get vignetting or not but i just thought i'd go step up ring a little bit wider so basically that screws on there that's on my front of the camera all the time that stays there but we'll talk more about that in a sec you get five filters in this kit which are red one three stop nd filter look how thin it is you can't even feel it in my hand it's so light so thin yeah red one three stop there is something about all the colors but that doesn't really mean much to me pink purple one six stop some i don't know why looking back over my pictures a six stop is the filter that i use the most so i might end up get ordering another one of these just in case i scratch it or drop it because i'm known for doing that and then a 10 stop which is gold Ooh, look at that um, and then a blue one, which is your polarizer. Look how small it is, just quick and easy. How easy is that for a polarizer? To just put on and off, love it. Um, splash guard, which pretty much just looks like a UV filter, but it's just clear glass. And then an end cap. And that end cap there sits on there. So that's basically what you get in the box, obviously, and you would get an 82 mil um, thread and magnet front bit but i don't use that i ordered separate like i said oh come here the 77 to 82 so my my thread on my lens here is 77 and i ordered the 82 mil kit to fit this so that screws on there anytime i want a filter bang on if i want two filters bang on look how cool that is that's as quick as the system is and my cap just stays and that pretty much just stays on all the time i've also ordered my 70 to 200 um which filter thread is 67 i think yeah 67 i've got a 67 to 82 mil adapter and that pretty much just stays on my 70 to 200 all the time with that on in fact that doesn't because i need to order a new one of these but yeah, that just stays like that. And that just stays like that. And that's my lenses ready to go. And that will not fall off there. That is really tight. Brilliant. It's, that's got a real firm. It's got some nice soft stuff in there as well, which is pretty lovely. But yeah, clips on, really, really strong magnet. Same with the 82. I mean, look at the size of that magnet. That's gotta be about seven mil wide. Look at that, can you? Look how well that fits. So, um, why did I get this system? I got this system because, and if I said earlier, I used to have the slidey in 100 mil filter system, and I don't really use a graduated filter much, and that's what makes made my old filter system quite big. So I thought I would give this system a try, and up to now, it's amazing. Obviously, I'm not using the graduated filters with this kit, all I seem to be using when I'm out and about now on my camera is ND filters. So it just made sense for me to get this system. It's small, it's quick. You know, if I got to 
out photographing with my 100 mil system i'd have to screw my um adapter ring on i'd have to put my 100 mil holder on and then i'd have to my all my nd filters were sliding ones whereas now i literally just get there that comes out bang that's it ready to go so much quicker and if i need another filler like i say that just clips on so that's the main reason why i've gone to this kit like I say, the reason I went from a step up ring is so I've got a wider, and I'm, I'm so hoping that I would get less of a vignette. Uh, what else actually, when you get the kit and it comes in this box, it comes in a plastic case like this, which is pretty cool. It's tough as, brilliant for travel. Holds them all individually in there. Closes up. Perfect. I don't like to carry them like that, although that comes with the kit. If I'm going to carry these, like I say, to me, it was all about size and weight. It was bringing my system down and making it smaller. Um, in fact, I'll talk about carrying them in a sec. First of all, people might say splash guard. What is all that about? This filter is clear. It does nothing special, but I think it is absolutely amazing. Because I shoot rivers and water a lot. I'm obviously by the coast and there's spray everywhere. Um, what I used to do if I'm framing, framing up a shot is I would put an old sometimes, you know, if I've got water splashing up everywhere, I would put an old UV filter on. I would just screw that onto the front and I could focus up all my shot. And if the water's splashing about and I get it on the front of the UV filter, fine. And I can quickly unscrew that and take the shot. Well, now, if I'm near the water, frame up my shot, when I'm down by the water, put that bad boy on. I can frame up my shot, get all my focus in. Set me aperture, set me shutter speed, and then just as I'm about to take the shot, pop that off. How cool is that? Whereas if I didn't have this and I'm trying to focus, there'd be splashes of water popping up in it in my lens. And it's the same for if it's raining. You're out in the bad weather, chuck that on, focus in, get everything done, your ISO, your shutter speed, your aperture, all what you want, and then just before you take the shot, take it off, bang. Good thing is, because it's clear, it won't interfere with the focusing. So to me, that's a really, when I first saw these filters, I thought, splash guard, splash filter, what's that all about? I was just gonna use it as like a, a filter cover if I couldn't afford a cap. But I found myself by the water, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant filter. Um, how do I carry these things? Like I said earlier on, they come in a box and they do, this is like a con, con, contatina. I've adapted it and cut there. There used to be loads of sleeves in there where you could put all the filters in, but I've, sorry Maven filters, I've cut that and now it's just one pouch and I'll show you why in a sec. If I'm gonna carry these filters, basically, I've got my, where's my back cap? I've got a back cap, which you can order separately. I don't know what this is, 20 quid, something like that. Um, back cap, nice and furry in there. Three stop. Six stop, I love that way that just clicks in. 10 stop, polarizing filter, splash guard, front cap. I mean, that now is my whole filter system. How cool is that? It's just, but I went to see me mate in the pub last night who I haven't seen for ages. I said, I'm going to bring the filter system along. I've got a new filter system. You won't even know I've got it on me. Now, if I was carrying my own filter system, which is big, and that, that was literally like shirt pocket. Look at that. Unbelievable. Let's just say I want a filter. Let's say I want my three-stop filter. Take my back cap off. Take my three-stop off. That's on my camera bag, all ready to go. Or I can just clip it back together. Three-stop goes on the front of my camera, which is on my tripod. Then let's just say I want my polarizing filter, which is the blue one. Feel like that. Polarizing filter, straight on. And you can just keep stacking up. You can just keep going. Oh, what do I want now? I want to put my 10 stop on. How cool is that? Obviously the more filters you go, you're going to get a bit of a vignette, but look how quick that is. I've always got a um, in my camera bag, I've always got loads of cloths, so it's literally take my filter off, put them down, or hold them together like that. How cool is that? I don't know what more to say about them. Oh, and 
how do I store them? Right, I'm just going to put these back together. I said earlier on that I adapted this, like I said earlier on, it, it, had, it had loads of slits in it for all the, the filters to sit individually, but I just prefer it like that. It feels solid, feels safe. Um, all I do is I've got a cloth, which I um, wrap my filters up, let my filters just go in the Maven. little case you don't really need to put them in that case but that is safe as you like that's where my filters stay get out taking pictures cameras on a tripod how quick is that get that out there right i want my six stop cloth down where's my six stop did 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 six stop on what was that seven seconds not that I'm, in fact, of all the photographers I know, I'm probably the slowest in taking my time doing everything, but look how easy and quick that is. Absolutely love it. The difference between the filters. This here, this red one, is three stops. Now, I know it's three stops because it's red and I'm getting used to the colours. Um, it says three stop on the back of the filter and there's three little notches there. One, two, three, look. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I know... That's a three stop filter, three stop ND filter. Now, if I go to the gold filter, God, these magnets are so strong, which is a 10 stop, there is 10 little noggins in there. And it says 10 stop. I mean, how, how easy have they made that? Mr. Maven, you've done an absolute cracking job. Uh, the purple one, pink one, is that purple? I'd say that's purple. Six stop, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six little noggins not being funny you can i mean you can be really bad eyesight and you can't read that so you can check that little noggins slide your finger across um you could be color blind so you could use the little noggins um you couldn't see with glasses you just count the little slots brilliant ah oh, the polarizer is just covered in little noggins all the way around but look how small that polarizer is my old system it was massive and it was a nightmare to clip on the front. It's just love that. Absolutely love it. So, people, that is the Maven filter system. You get five filters in the box, which is a three stop ND filter, a six stop ND filter, a 10 stop ND filter, a polarizing filter, splash guard filter, and a front cap. The only thing I advise you to do is order a back cap if you want to carry them like that. If not, they come with a case. Other than that, if I get more and more filters now, I bought myself a diffusion filter. That's simple. That just goes on there like that. That is now in there with my kit. Mr. Michael Maven, you've done an amazing job. I can't wait to get out and play with these things. But like I say, I shoot. For some reason, I don't know why, I use a, my six-stop ND filter. I seem to use more than any other filter, so which there is the purple one because it's got six little dashes and it says six stop ND filter on the back. I might order myself another one of those because I'm a complete Muppet and I'm forever falling over and breaking things. So yes, first glance out the box, absolutely amazing. Love them, absolutely love them. Like I said, I don't normally do reviews on things because I've said before cameras, all cameras are amazing now. But when it comes to filters, some can be cumbersome and some can just be streamlined and so easy to use. So love them. Definitely worth what I've seen so far. Apparently there's a new wave of filters coming out this year as well. In the next couple of months from what I've seen from, from online on the website, uh, Maven filters. So pop along and have a look. Yeah, second wave of filters coming along soon. I don't even know what filters they would be, but I don't know if they would have ND filters in between these or... There is other filters on the website, but that's what you get in the kit. So for a landscape photographer, a three stop, a six stop, a 10 stop, a polarizer, splash guard, what more do you want? That's, that's, that's pretty much perfect for a landscape photographer. Check them out. Maven filters, definitely worth a look. They look amazing and what I've used so far, they're great. But like I say, I'm gonna do a proper review in probably two, three, four, months. in fact, we've got autumn coming now. I've missed the summer. Um, 
we'll be coming to the end of September, so I've got autumn to get out and play, and it's just, oh, I can't wait. I hate this in between where we've got end of summer and it comes into rain, but now it's going to be oranges, browns. Can't wait to get on the um, on the rivers with these bad boys. And some sun rises, which aren't at stupid o'clock in the morning. So, cheers for watching. If you want a quick filter system, definitely worth a look. Cool. See you in the next vid. Cool. Cheers. Bye.